Hello friends and my dear students, myself Munde Sandeep Janardhan, Assistant Professor and Head Department of Microbiology, Sanjuni Mahavidyalai Chapuli, Taluka Sakur District Latur. As you know, due to COVID-19 disease, it is not possible to conduct the classes in the college but UGC and university has given the permission to conduct the classes on online mode under the guidance of respected principal Dr. Dhananjay Chatisar we are conducting the classes on online mode we are going to see the syllabus of B.Sc. second year, third semester. But before that, just I want to give some information about the how marks are distributed to each paper for B.Sc. second year. There is a choice based credit system. Regarding that, just we are going to see how the marks are distributed. For BSc second year third semester, there are two papers. Paper number 6. Applied Microbiology and paper number 7 Immunology for Applied Microbiology Applied Microbiology is of total mass 50 out of which 10 marks is for internal assessment and 40 marks that is for final theory exam that is the end semester evaluations 40 plus 10 is equal to 50 marks same paper number 7 immunology 10 marks for internal evaluations that is in the college level we evaluated that internal evaluation and 40 marks that is the end semester evaluation that is the theory exam after the completion of semester it means that 50 marks for paper number 6 and 50 marks for paper number 7 that is the immunology this is the some idea about the mark distribution of each paper let us see the syllabus for third semester. There are two paper. Sixth is the applied microbiology and seven is the immunology. First of all, we will see the first applied microbiology. In the applied microbiology, there are four units. Unit first, air microbiology. Unit second, water microbiology. Unit third, sewage microbiology. And unit fourth, milk microbiology. So let us see under the unit which points are under the syllabus. Unit first is the air microbiology under which there are number of contents first content it is the definition and composition of air second sources of microorganism in air third significance of microorganisms in air beneficial as well as harmful number four droplet droplet nuclei and aerosol then 
enumerations of microorganisms in year, then control of microorganisms in year, and number seven that is the fate of aerosol inactivation mechanisms, UV, HIPAA filter, desiccation, incinerations, precipitation, and chemical disinfections and temperature. This is all about the unit first air microbiology, then unit second water microbiology. Under that there are different contents. The first content is the types of water. Number two sources of microorganisms in water. Number three index of water pollution. Number four different indicator microorganisms coliform bacteria number five microbial examination of water under that we are going to examine there are different tests of water number six waterborne diseases there are number of waterborne diseases are there that we will see under the waterborne diseases and seven treatment and safety of potable water that is the drinking water okay this is all about the unit second water microbiology let us see the unit 3 that is the sewage microbiology under the sewage microbiology just we will check the which syllabus or which points are there the first of all their point is the definition of sewage number two composition and strength of sewage that is BOD and COD then third point the microbiology of sewage number four domestic sewage treatment number five municipal sewage treatment that is primary secondary tertiary sewage treatment and composting so this is the the contents of unit 3 sewage microbiology and last unit that is milk microbiology we'll see the syllabus of milk microbiology first student definition and composition of milk Number two, sources of contamination of milk. Number three, desirable and undesirable changes in milk. Number four, milk bone disease. Number five, microbial examinations of milk. Number six, pasteurization of milk. And last point, application of microorganism in dairy industry that is dairy starter culture fermented dairy products that is the yogurt acidophiles milk cumis kefir dahi and cheese probiotics health benefits all these are the different contents under the milk bi microbiology okay this is all about the syllabus of paper number six that is the applied microbiology then after that we'll see the syllabus of paper number seven immuno immunology under the immunology paper there are four contents that is the four units unit first immune system infection and immunity Unit second, antigens, antibodies, and immune response. Unit third, antigen, antibody reaction. And last unit, unit four, hypersensitivity. So let us see one by one the syllabus of immunology paper. First unit, it is the immune system, infection and immunity under that. 
these are the different contents or the syllabus of first unit structure and function of leukocyte number two normal microflora of skin oral cavity and gastrointestinal tract number three infection definitions types of infections number four sources of infections number five modes of transmission number six microbial pathogenicity number seven aggressive factors of pathogens and last point immunity under the immunity definition and classifications of immunity with suitable examples okay this is all about the contents under the unit first now we'll see the unit number second that is antigens antibodies and immune response under this unit the which syllabus is this is the syllabus the first antigens definitions number two general properties antigen specificity number three bacterial antigens with reference to staphylococcus that sorry salmonella typhi number four antibody definition properties number five structure of immunoglobulin and immunoglobulin classes number six immune response under the immune response complement system definition types and mechanisms under the mechanisms humoral and cellular mechanisms then a list of effector molecules and the last point that is theories of antibody productions now we'll see the syllabus of unit third that is antigen antibody reaction under this unit the first point is the mechanisms and applications of the following reactions with suitable examples agglutinations precipitation complement fixation virus neutralization and toxin neutralization reaction number second principle and application of recent techniques which are these techniques the first techniques enzyme linked immunosorbent assay number two radio immunoassay number three immunofluorescence test this is the syllabus of unit third let us see the syllabus of unit fourth that is hypersensitivity under the hypersensitivity there are different contents the first definition of hypersensitivity number two classification of hypersensitivity on the basis of time delayed and immediate number three mechanisms of type first type two type three and type four hypersensitivity with one example of each type one hypersensitivity we'll see the systematic anaphylaxis type 2 hypersensitivity will see blood transfusion reactions under the type third hypersensitivity you will see arthrosis reaction and 
type for hypersensitivity the point is the contact dermatitis this is the syllabus of unit fourth and this is all about the syllabus of paper number 7 immunology in this way the syllabus of paper number 6 and paper number 7 are completed so in the next lecture we will see the detailed information about unit first air microbiology and then afterwards we will discuss details about that so friends and my dear students after the discussion about the syllabus just i want to give some information about the covid 19 disease or about coronavirus so you should take precautions don't go anywhere without any work so wear the mask and take the care where you are handling some parts so use the sanitizer after handling any parts when during the outside the house and still there is no any medicine or vaccine about COVID-19 disease so it is our duty or to take the precautions and we hope that in the future or as early as possible the vaccines will available and once we'll get the vaccines so the problem of covid 19 disease will solve okay the next part that we'll see tomorrow thank you